Welcome to the third lecture in grade 2 Braille. Last time we went through a number of words in grade 2 Braille and mainly those were some abbreviations and previously before abbreviations we had seen some initial word signs. Today we are going to embark on some contractions which are a bit special and different from what we have been having before. In this lecture in grade 2 Braille, the uniqueness is that this time we are going to have a kind of contractions that are not similar to any letter. Instead, they are shapes which are completely different from the letters of the alphabet which we have so far covered. They are reflected there on the screen. The first contraction is and. And has been coiled or contracted in one cell and it doesn't resemble any letter. For writing the shape of a contraction for and, we have all the dots in a cell apart from dot Five. All the cell in a dot apart from dot 5. However, as we have been doing before, this is the writing position. But the reading position, you write all the cells apart from the opposite cell missing, which is dot 2. When you write it like that and you remove the paper, it will be the proper shape of an. Next, we have the contraction for the word for, F-O-R. We have a shape with all the six dots of the alphabet. And that is the word for. It is interesting because one can rarely make a mistake. It is a reading position at the same time. It is the same in the writing position. The third word contracted is of. We have a shape of all the dots apart from dot 4 as in our reading position. And as a reading position, but in the writing position, we, we omit the opposite dot, which is 1. The next word is the. With the, we have all of them in one cell. We have the word the, we have dot 2. Three, four, five in the reading position. However, in the writing position, we write the middle way and we come up with our word. Next, we have the word with. In the reading position is dot two, three, four, five, six. In the writing position, we write the middle way by omitting the opposite dot, which is dot four. In the same exercise, we have the word a. Ah. Next, we have a punctuation mark to introduce. As I promised you previously, we are going to be introducing few punctuation marks at the at a time so that we get used to them, to read them, and to write them. The punctuation mark which we are going to introduce is a semicolon. A semicolon in the reading position is dot two three. However, in the writing position, you write the opposite dots, which is five and six. Those of you who have had prior knowledge of standard English Braille, there was a rule of not separating the above words and for of the with. However, in unified English Braille, we separate the words with a space. That's why in the words, I have not put the word are because we covered it earlier and it's not necessary since we no longer leave space. So a semicolon, like any other punctuation marks, is written immediately after completing to write a word without leaving a space. After it, you space, then you proceed. And in the same exercise, I am introducing also abbreviations. 
we are going to introduce ourselves to four abbreviations. The first one is afternoon. Afternoon is abbreviated by three letters. A, F, N. You leave the space and you proceed. The next abbreviation is again. Again, you write letters A, G. You leave space, you proceed. Next is him. H, I, M. Him is represented by letters H, M. You remember you cautioned you that we should not formulate our own abbreviations. Next abbreviation is paid. P-A-I-D is represented by P-D. So, with the contractions plus the punctuation mark, semicolon, and the four abbreviations, we are going to do the following exercise. So, our heading for the exercise of today is Simple Upper Word Science Group 2. So, the first sentence, the book of the teacher is stolen. In that sentence, we shall... Write the contraction of the word the by putting it in one cell. We skip a space, we write book, we skip a space, we write the abbreviation of the word of in one cell. We leave a space, we write the word the in one cell as we have learned. We leave a space, we write teacher. We leave a space, we write is. We leave a space, we write student immediately we put a full stop the next sentence the teacher is with a boy and a girl that will have to be written as a contraction in one cell then we write teacher we leave a space we write is we leave a space then we write with in one cell we leave a space we write a before and after a there is a space as I had said before, a is a word and it requires a space by leaving a cell before and after the word. Boy, leave a space. And, remember and is a recently learned contraction. We write it in one cell. Then the rest we can proceed. Sentence three, the goat, semicolon, space, the cow and the sheep were grazing with a dog. The president and the ministers are for the and with the in these sentences we have also mixed some simple upper word signs group one for example the word people in the simple upper word signs group one it was only represented by letter p this land is for the and of the old people in this sentence we have the recently learned contractions for the and the simple upper word sign people sentence six this afternoon we shall see him again afternoon i was represented by three letters a f n then him h m and we put full stop and we proceed. We paid him for the work he did. Paid is represented by PD. Him, HM, for is one cell represented by contraction. The is one cell represented by contraction. And I keep reminding those people who have ever used standard English Braille that this time in unified English Braille, we leave space between these simple upper word signs group two. So we shall leave a space between four and the next. The land has sand within it. There is something special I want to introduce before we proceed. This simple upper word signs group two can be also used as part of a word or words. For example, in these words like sand, we have S and there is and. We can write S and we contract and. And instead of taking four cells, it takes only two cells. Fork, F-O-R-K. We contract the word F-O-R in one cell and we put letter K. It becomes fork with stand. We contract the word with. Immediately, we, con we put S-T and then we contract the word and. Whole word takes only four cells. Other letters are added on. We spell the whole word out. 
these simple powered signs group to, they are flexible in a way that they allow the word signs to be used as. Thank you.